Trump, I don't take questions from fake news, CNN. Wow, they can't even go to the UK without being branded fake news. President Donald Trump calls CNN fake news and refused to take questions from them at a joint press conference with British PM Theresa May on Friday. CNN Jim's Acosta tried to get the president's attention during the presser, but Trump told him he was going to take questions from a real news outlet instead and then called on John Roberts from Fox News. John Roberts, go ahead, John, Trump said. Uh, May I ask a question? Acosta interjected. No, John Roberts, go ahead, Trump repeated. CNN is fake news. I don't take questions from CNN. CNN is fake news. Let's go to the real network, Trump added. Holy dooly. (laughs) (laughs) It's awesome. Oh, I love this. I really do. CNN anchor Jank Tapper complained about the display on Twitter, asserting old enough to remember when other networks came to the defense of Fox News White House correspondents during Obama years. Really? Because I don't. But anyway, moving along. Such did not happen here. Lessons for the kid out there. No one should ever try to do the right thing with the exception it will ever be reciprocated. Oh, with the expectation, it'll ever be reciprocated. Okay, that's not entirely true there, is it? Um, all right, so we do have the video. We will talk about that. And then I want to mention something that I think CNN is literally trying to fake news this on. But let's go through the video. So we'll play that for you now. CNN, can I ask you a question? Uh, John Roberts, go ahead, John. No, no. John Roberts, go ahead. CNN's fake news. I don't take questions. I don't take questions from CNN. CNN is fake news. I don't take questions from CNN. John Roberts of Fox. Let's go right. to a real. Let's go to a real network. John, uh, let's go. Well, we're a real network too, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> I take it that John Roberts was sitting there. He was just about to laugh too. He looks like he was about to lose his shit, rolling around the ground laughing. Um, okay, so let's talk about that. Um, so that is a typical Jim Acosta thing where he would just try to interrupt and then play the victim later. Um, yes. So, yeah, at uh, the end of the day, I don't think Jim Acosta actually had any right to virtual signal like he did on Twitter. He literally was trying to interrupt. The president said, John, um, he was trying to get John's question or get us, John, to get the question to him. Um, and CNN just kept interrupting. So I'm sorry, but no, you, you, you're fake newsing yourself, literally in a story about fake news. Um, yeah. when, when you go on Twitter and virtual signal like you do, I'm sorry, that's just fake news. Um, what do yeah. you guys reckon? Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Trump calling them out? Um, what do you, yeah. Uh, he did it in Europe too. Mm. That was so awesome. They can't go anywhere. Yeah, I just, I just yeah. like how his drama follows him into even other fucking continents. Yeah, it's hilarious. Like, I mean, in the last video, you like they made a Trump blimp. He can't escape yeah. it. <laughs> True. Oh man, I just twenty eighteen has been um, the drama gods have been very kind to us. Mm. It's been fun to watch. True. What do you reckon about Jim Acosta trying to interrupt? You reckon that was him trying to? bully people or whatever to to get his to get his question out there or um yeah i mean i suppose in that kind of setting to be fair you probably kind of have to assert yourself true. a bit true i was gonna say um that. so i mean maybe he's not trying to like interrupt per se mm. but the, you know it doesn't matter trump is just gonna go you're fake news and move on yeah so. true Oh, I do like the fact that CNN can't travel anywhere in this world around Trump and not be branded as fake news. That is kind of epic in itself. Um, we did also get a new report on ratings yesterday that I, I didn't really cover because I just ran out of time. Um, CNN and MSNBC are literally now in the toilet for ratings. Um, so oh, even MSNBC cool. is copying it as well, to be honest. I think that's just like general like mainstream media... Yeah. As a whole at this point. It's yeah. not even just CNN. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would say, look, at the end of the day, um, I kind of like the fact that he rails against the fake news. Um, and at the end of the day, if the media wants to be a little bit more charitable and stop lying so much, then obviously yeah. you can't get branded as fake news, technically, can you? 
yeah, it, maybe that's what they need to do. Stop lying. Stop making things up. Mm. Stop finding pointless things to cover when there's something clearly more important. And maybe you won't get called fake news. That's uh, one major part. important point that you just made. Covering things that aren't as important as other things going on. That's what we just Every news called... media does this, it's, and it is it's called lying by omission. Yeah, yes. it's called lying by omission. Yeah, well, that's what like, we've literally just covered this in the in the last video we talked about. They, yeah, we're talking about the fact that, for example, these kids in the in the in the pool uh, in the in the rock pools in these in these caves got so much press coverage, but things like, for example, a certain court case that is currently running at the moment, um isn't even getting getting traction or getting topic or getting covered um you know like literally they've gone through kids stuck in a cave which is obviously sucks and you know boohoo you know yeah. to clarify none of us think that isn't a tragedy exactly but... yeah it's tragic it sucks you know let's get the kids out right well, yeah we're great but you know we're out now yeah but yeah exactly the kids are out now and what's the next thing that the mainstream media wants to talk about is Stormy Daniels getting arrested for literally doing the equivalent of tit smacking an undercover female police officer? Like, you know, like, gee, you must be really desperate for news if only there was some other court case that was going on right now that you would talk about, but you don't seem to bring up. So, yeah. I mean, one, one way to put it too is like the main news is trying to act like. Uh, e, you know, or one of those other news outlets that's all about celebrity drama, you know, just silly topics, basically. Mm. And that's, I mean, I don't expect that from CNN. I would expect that from something like one of those uh, eight o'clock at night, you know, Hollywood stuff. Mm. It's, it's it's a different, there's a different kind of news outlet for a different kind of news. Mm. Uh, yeah. Stormy Daniels, I don't think is CNN material. Well, they tried to make her a common household name, and well, she is a common name, and just not with the household. It's more with the strip clubs and whatnot. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Red like district. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Trump going through and uh, and railing against CNN? Do you, uh, do you find this funny? Do you think it's a bit of an old tired stick? Um, or do you think CNN deserves it because they're fake news? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Demonetized video from YouTube. <laughs>